Okay, so a random variable and a probability distribution. So a random variable is a variable whose numerical value is determined by chance for its outcome of an experiment. While this probability distribution gives the probabilities of occurrence of different possible outcomes for an experiment. And to understand more on this random variable and this probability distribution, so we have this uh, example. So flipping a coin three times, then let x, so this one is our random variable. So let our random variable x be the number of tails, then make a probability distribution. Now, we all know that when we're going to flip a coin, so we have two possible uh, outcome, the head and the tail. Now, since we're going to flip this coin three times, so therefore we need to list all the possible outcome for this experiment. Now, for the first flip, so possible result, head or a tail. Then on the second flip, so we have head or the tail and also head or the tail. Then on the third flip, the same, the head and the tail the head or the tail, then the head or the tail, and the head or the tail. Now, using this illustration, we can easily identify the different outcomes on this experiment. So, this is now our sample space outcomes. So, these are the possible outcome when flipping a coin three times. So, we have head, head, head. So, all heads or head, head, and the tail. We also have head, tail, and the head, or the head, the tail, and the tail. Then another uh, possible uh, outcome is the tail, the head, and the head, or the tail, the head, and the tail. Then another possible outcome, the tail, the tail, and the head, and also the tail, the tail, and the tail. So these are the possible outcome when flipping a coin three times. So we have eight total outcomes because we all know that a coin has two faces and we flip it three times. So two times two times two. So this is the total outcome that's eight. And since we let our random variable x be the number of tails, so we're going to count the number of tails for every outcome. So for the first outcome, we have all heads, there is no tail, so therefore x is 0. Then for this outcome, we have one tail, so we have one. And for this, we have one tail. For this, we have two tails. And one tail, two tails, two tails, and this, three tails. So this is now our random variable. So using this random variable, we can make now our probability distribution. So your probability distribution based on these outcomes and your, or the value of your random variable. Now, since x is the number of tails, so possible number of tails for this experiment, we have 0, we have 1, 2, and 3. So these are the possible number of tails, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And the probability, so we have the probability of getting no tail, so we have 1 out of 8, so that's 1 over 8. And the probability of getting one tail, so we have 1, 2, 3, so 3 over 8. And the probability of getting two tails, 1, 2, 3, so we have 3 over 8. Then the probability of getting uh, three tails, so we have 1 over 8. So this is now the probability distribution of x. So using this probability distribution, so we can construct now our histogram. So this is our histogram. So on this side, the x or the number of tails. And on this side, that's the probability. 
So possible number of tails for this experiment, we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. And for the probabilities, we have uh, 0, 1 over 8, 2 over 8, and 3 over 8. Then from our probability distribution, if there is no tail, so the probability is 1 over 8. If we have one tail, so the probability, that's 3 over 8. And if two tails, so we have 3 over 8. And for three tails, we have 1 over 8. So this is now the histogram of this experiment. Then for our second example, so rolling two six-sided dice, let x be the sum of the numbers on the top. Then uh, make a probability distribution. What is the probability of getting a sum at least 9? And what is the probability of getting a sum less than 7? So first, we need to list all possible outcomes when rolling two six-sided dice. Now, since we have two six-sided dice, so therefore the total outcome, that's 6 times 6, which is equal to 36. So 36 total outcomes. And these are the possible outcomes. So we have 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. We also have 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. And also 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 4, I um, mean 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, then 3, 6. Then we have 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6. Then 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6. Then 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, and 6, 6. So these are the possible outcomes when we roll a two six-sided dice. So 36 total outcomes. Then since our random variable x be the sum of the numbers on the top, so in a probability distribution, so x does the sum, so start with the smallest sum, so we have this 1 plus 1, so the smallest sum is 2, then we also have this 1 plus 2, that's 3, 1 plus 3, that's 4, we also have this 5, this one is 5, then 1 plus 5, that's 6, 1 plus 6, we have 7. We also have this 2 plus 6, that's 8. Then 3 plus 6, that's 9. 4 plus 6, that's 10. Then 5 plus 6, that's 11. And this 6 plus 6, that's 12. So 12 is the highest possible sum of two six-sided dice. Then to get the probability, so the probability of getting a sum equal to 2, so we only have 1. So 1 out of 36, so that's 1 over 36. Then a probability of getting a sum uh, equals to 3. So we have 1, 2, so that's 2 over 36. Then a probability of getting a sum equals to 4. So we have this 1, 2, 3, so that's 3 over 36. Then a probability of getting sum equals to 5. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 4 over 36. Then a probability of getting sum uh, equals to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 over 36. A probability of getting sum equals to 7. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6 over 36. Then a probability of getting sum equals to 8. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's 5 over 36. A probability of uh, sum equals to 9. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 over 36. Then a sum equals to 10. So this one, 1, 2, and 3. That's 3 over 36. Then a sum equals to 11. So 1 and 2. Then a sum equals to 12, so we have 1, so 1 over 36. So this is now the probability distribution of x. Then using this probability distribution, we can solve now this problem. So what is the probability of getting a sum at least 9, at least 9, that's 9 up. So therefore, we're going to add all the probabilities on this area 
So that's 4 over 36 plus 3 over 36 plus 2 over 36 plus 1 over 36. So that's equal to 10 over 36 or reduce divisible by 2. That's 5 over 18. So this is now the probability of getting a sum at least 9 that's uh, greater than or equal to 9. That's at least 9. Then uh, probability of getting a sum less than 7. So less than 7, this area, less than 7. So add all these probabilities. So we have 1 over 36 plus 2 over 36, plus 3 over 36, plus 4 over 36, plus 5 over 36. So that's 15 over 36, then reduce, divisible by 3. So this one is 5 over 12. So this is now the probability of getting a sum less than 7. Then to construct an histogram from this uh, probability distribution, so this is our x, and this one is the probability so values for x, that's uh, 1 to 12. Then for the probability, so 1 over 36, 2 over 36, 3 over 36, 4 over 36, 5 over 36, and 6 over 36. Then if the sum is equal to 2, so the probability, that's 1 over 36. If equal to 3, that's 2 over 36. If 4, that's 3 over 36. If 5, that's 4 over 36. If 6, that's 5 over 36. If 7, that's 6 over 36. Then if 8, that's 5 over 36. If 9, that's 4 over 36. If 10, 3 over 36. Then if 11, that's 2 over 36. And if 12, that's 1 over 36. So this is now the histogram of this experiment.